Ah, you're finally here! We've been waiting for so long! It's only been five minutes. <laughs> Since everyone's here, let's get down to business. The Astral Express just received an invitation to the Planet of Festivities. Uh, hang on. Why am I getting a sense of deja vu? Oh, please don't. We don't need to go through that again. Don't worry. The Express received a normal invitation this time. It's from Penacone's Paperfold University. The university plans to hold an academic conference on the topic of trailblazing in the moment of soul. The Astral Express has been invited as guest to the conference. An academic conference? You mean we'll have to sit in an auditorium and spend several system hours talking about a few hundred slides worth of scholarly discourse? Don't worry, you can leave such boring events to the grown-ups. I will attend the conference with Welt, as for the three of you. If you're interested, you can enter the university as guest students. Well, it happens to be the start of the academic term, and Paperfold University is preparing for its Dreamlight anniversary. These annual festivities serve as both a welcoming gift for new students and a chance to celebrate for those already enrolled. Why don't you youngsters join the new students? Hmm? You could uh, explore the campus, uh, experience student life. Uh, do, do we have to study? Uh, that's great! A young, cute girl full of energy living her best life on campus? That experience is practically made for me! <laughs> I hear that Paperfold University is well known throughout the universe as a top art school. <clears throat> I would love to check it out too. <sighs> campus life. <laughs> Looks like everyone can't wait. Let's go ahead with that plan then. I will submit the admission documents to Paperfold University. We'll leave once everyone is ready. Let's all have some fun. Campus. Oh, that word sure brings back a lot of memories. Now that you mention it, I recall that you had a teaching stint back home. Any delightful stories that come to mind? <laughs> yeah, too many to count. Uh, but then again, these admission documents will take us a while to complete. I'll see if I can dig up any stories for you. <laughs> Electives? Oh, extracurricular activities? Campus parties? Oh, I want to try them all! <sighs> well, you and I are the only ones with ambiguous educational qualifications on the Express. Oh, wait! Uh, there's Pom Pom, too! Uh, never mind. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves on campus. I'll be in your care now! <sighs> Electives? Oh, extra- Aw, is someone having a case of nerves? We're just going to school. How bad can it be? Uh, never mind. Let's just relax and enjoy our- <sighs> Electives? Of course! We're schoolmates now! Uh, never mind. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves on campus. As the top university in Penacone, the strict examinations and expensive tuition have deterred many potential candidates. The people who are admitted to the school are either well-known wealthy merchants or exceptionally talented geniuses. Because of this, I hear that the culture on campus has a truly Penaconian flavor. <laughs> How intriguing. Oh, no, no, no. What 
is that ruckus? Oh, no, no, no. We've arrived! Why do you always fall asleep when we're warping? I couldn't even wake you up. Oh, what do you mean, Ruckus? I was really gentle when trying to wake you up. All right, let's go check in. Himeko and Mr. Yang still have to participate in social networking. Being an adult sure is hard. Welcome to the Reverie, distinguished shareholders. Oh! I almost forgot that we're Penicone shareholders. Upon hearing the news that you were returning to Penicone, the hotel prepared six platinum guest rooms for your stay. They are ready for you anytime. Um, six? That's right. Besides the three of you, Miss Himiko and Mr. Yang, Pom Pom had already checked in three days ago. Pom Pom? What are you talking about? I see. We thank the family for their gracious hospitality. Please help us with the check-in. Of course. Your dreamscape passes have been activated. I hope that you have another enjoyable stay in Panacone. We didn't have an enjoyable stay the last time, though. Um, apologies for interrupting you earlier. But, Don Hung, do you know something that we don't? Why did the front desk mention that Pom Pom is staying at the hotel, too? If my guess is correct, it's probably Boot Hill checking in under Pom Pom's name. Yes. When we worked together in Penacone the last time, he used Pom Pom's identity then, too. <sighs> He's the only one I can think of who would do that. Boot Hill? What is he doing here? I don't know. Galaxy Rangers always work alone, but I don't think Boot Hill will do anything that is uh, detrimental to the Express. Since uh, Pom Pom checked in three days ago, we can probably find him in the dream. We'll ask him more about it then. Uh, let's get going then. A paperfold university is located in the moment of Seoul. The hotel has set the entrance to the dream near the school, so let's meet at the gates! I'm staying in the same room as the last time I was here. <sighs> time to enter the dream. that the major shareholders have already arrived at the lobby. Don't alarm them! I know! But that fellow was running in this direction! Oh, how did he disappear so quickly? Shh! Someone else is here! Who are you? The what auditions? Sorry, I usually just relax in my free time and never watch variety shows. I don't care who you are. The Bloodhound family is investigating a case here. Please make way. Oh, wait a second. Gray, 
hair, yellow eyes, ribbons that serve no purpose on her clothes. I think she's the major shareholder you were talking about. What? For the love of... Couldn't you have said that earlier? Ahem. <clears throat> I beg your pardon, esteemed guest. I was a bit brusque earlier. The bloodhounds are just carrying out a routine inspection. All guest rooms and facilities are in good order. So please be at ease and enjoy your stay. But the suspect... You... Is it sustainable? Ah, uh, yes, sustainable. We know frequent inspections may not seem sustainable to some, but these procedures ensure a safe and secure environment for guests, so the Bloodhounds are more than happy to do so. We'll take our leave for now. Please have a good rest. Um, please stay safe and be careful in the dream. Alright, that's enough. Come on, let's go. Hmm. I'm confused. Maybe I should look around before I enter the dream? in the box. Something just doesn't feel right. Hmm. But I can't keep March 7th and Don Hung waiting. Never mind. I'll head to sleep for now. Forgive me. Focus on your breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine an island. An island. 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 Did I just see something strange? 
is this Paperfold University? It doesn't look much like a school, but it does look somewhat familiar. Also, what's that? close call that was. But fear not. The darkest hour of the night may be upon us, but this majestic skyscraper shall now welcome the start of an epic hunt! Huh? Yo, yo! Under starry skies, evil low and high. Helpless folk in the dark fighting for their lives. Silent ninja arcs written down in red tears. Noble ninja hearts in the night join here. Stormy tides crashing forth, all evil flame. Come the dawn, shining sparks lighting up again. Yo, yo, dazzling ninja. AKA Rapper, nice to meet ya. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, ouch! Uh, what kind of devious trap is this? Not only are there feedlings abound, but there are also concealed weapons flying about! Rapping? <laughs> That's not it. What I'm reciting is the mantra of a ninja! Be gone, feedlings, or I shall give you a taste of my dazzling ninjutsu! That's impossible. How can it be? I... I am unable to communicate with these feelings. Again, that strange feeling. Be on your guard. This is also part of the feeling sorcery. Hang in there. I'll get you out of this right away. Dazzling palm, righteous shot. Apologies. 
dazzling palm was designed to deliver a powerful impact to the soul. I've endeavored to control my strength, but some pain is inevitable if I am to ensure you regain consciousness. True colors now that your evil schemes have been exposed. They're calling for their fellow ape feelings. Please take cover behind me. They've scampered off in different directions. Those feelings are up to no good. We better get moving. Are you still under their spell? Or has the ninja power of my righteous chop dissipated? Fear not, I can do it again! As stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, be decisive, lest we be overwhelmed by the consequences. There are still feedlings roaming nearby. Let us be on our way. Singing monkeys and a singing ninja. Am I dreaming? You are indeed... Dreaming. You can return to a safe location after touching this object. Pinacani truly is filled with boundless mysteries. Since fate saw fit to bring us together, may I know your name before we part ways? Ooh, a strong name! Well met, baseball bat ninja! Forgive me for speaking out of turn, Baseball Bat Ninja, but for your safety, you and your companion should leave this land of dreams as soon as possible. The appearance of these feelings are a sign of impending disaster. It is proof that the ninja hero's arch enemy has their eyes set on the land. The emotionless, soulless, and merciless evil ninja Osaru! It's time for me to depart. Please do take care. Goodbye. This does look like the way out. Let's go. Long time ago, in a world far away, there was a city that flourished under the rule of a ninja hero for many generations. It was known as the Ninja Capital. Under the protection of the ninja hero, the people of the city thrived. They lived and worked in peace, and happiness could be felt even in the sewers of the Ninja Capital. Until 
An evil doer known as Eva Ninja Osaru murdered the ninja hero and laid claim to the city. The happiness of days past disappeared in an instant. Oh, child, new to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Henceforth, you shall be the successor to my dazzling ninjutsu. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow, a sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja, Osaru, agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Fiendlings indulgent in evil gone wild enrage the hearts of all man, woman, and child. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital and bring peace back to its people. An astounding recitation of the ninja mantra, Master Kucha. I swear I will train hard until I become the dazzling ninja. An admirable resolution. Uh, to contend with the evil ninja, you will also need a new name. A name befitting a ninja. What should I be called? I don't know, my disciple. Your name will carry your ideals, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. What a baffling dream. I should now be at Paperful University, right? Uh, we're over here! <sighs> You're late! Did you run off to Idine Park with someone to clown about again? Monkeys and a ninja. Mm, that doesn't sound like something that happened in Penacony. It seems more like a dream bubble. Uh, those monkeys you were talking about? Is that them? Uh, I knew you had to be talking about Slumber Nana Monkey! Allow me to introduce you to the most popular little guy in Paperfold University. It's more beloved than Cloggy. Slumber Nana Monkey likes goofing off and loves eating bananas. It lives a carefree life in the moment of Slumber Nana. Is it also a cartoon character created by the Watchmaker? Uh, no, no. It only appeared recently. It's, uh... Uh, what's it called again? A me... Uh, a meme! No one knows where it came from. It just blew up overnight. Fans made up bananies that only fellow fans would understand, and even created sticker packs and fan works. Uh, the most popular one is the Slumber Nana song. Bananana! Bananana! <laughs> of course! I'm a college student who keeps up with the times. How do you know so much? Uh, from the campus group chat, of course. I joined the group before school even started, so I'd get to know more people. That's just common sense. Uh, you'll have a hard time making friends at school if you stay out of touch. Here, I'll add you two to the group.
It's almost time. Let's proceed to admissions. <laughs> Come on, let's go! The spectacular campus life awaits us! Why is the family running a school in a dream anyway? Do people really come to the planet of festivities just to study? Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers and was founded by Glox, head of the Nightingale family. Later on, the Iris and Alfalfa families also got involved in university operations and the education landscape expanded into the three academies we have today. Dreamweaver, Charmony, and Fortune. From there, Paperfold University became known as the top art school in the cosmos. Wow! Is this really a school? It looks grander than the theme park! Paperfold University's motto is Color your dreams, free your ideals. What we see before us reaffirms those words. Hmm. We still have some time before the anniversary celebration's opening ceremony. Let's take a look around. Slumber Nana Monkey's right banana, too? You could say I'm more of a fresh banana than a ripe banana. Is that a plush next to you? I bought this from the creator's market. Doesn't it look realistic? The booth owner said this design is especially popular and really hard to get. you. Uh, what is that? Did I scare you? Sorry, I'm Assistant Nana 416 from the Welcoming Committee. Assistant Nana? Like a teacher's assistant? It's Bananies. Students are in love with Slumber Nana Monkey right now. So our faculty did our homework and changed up our image. Banana. Why are the faculty in Paperfold University from the Sweet Dreams troupe? Most of the teachers are attending the academic conference during the school's anniversary. That's why the dean asked the Sweet Dreams troupe to be substitute teachers, Banana. Don't you worry. The Banana Advisors come loaded with the memories of the senior professors. Our Banana Academic Standards remain top-notch. There's no need to worry about studies right now, though. Please enjoy the Dreamlight Anniversary first, Banana. I sure will! I wasn't planning to study anyway. <laughs> That's a bold declaration. <laughs> That's alright! Paperfold University is a school of freedom! Spend your youth however you'd like! You there! Please, wait a moment! Huh? Are you talking to us? <laughs> That's all right. Paperfold University is a school of freedom. Spend your youth however you'd like. And you are? You guys 
these were easy to spot. You and the pink pretty girl with the camera. You're Saint Cheese, aren't you? Uh, hey, stop messing around. She was looking for me. Hi there. I'm Treasure Nana from the campus group chat. You can call me Montana. Nice to meet you. My name is Dan Hung. What? When did you start going by that name? Oh gosh, I recognize you! You're this season's festive superstar! Oh, you're famous! I never thought I'd go to the same school with someone famous! I bet you'll be assigned to the Charmony Academy. Assigned? Ah, it refers to the tuning test. At the entrance ceremony, the family's members will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate academy. <laughs> Calm down. It's not a real exam. Aww, a family assigns every student their major? It doesn't sound very harmonious to me. Don't worry, if a student disagrees with the result, they can apply for a transfer to another academy. It's just that most people don't. The pressure is high, even in a dream. Not to mention competition has grown fierce ever since Panacone relaxed their entrance reviews after the place went public. Most of us are just grateful the family is willing to guide us. Uh, that's reality for you. Anyway, let's change the subject. Are you going to attend the Dean's speech? My friends and I are going to check out the Creator's Market, so I won't be joining you. They're not taking attendance anyway. See you later. Bana! Uh, the teachers and students here sure are... <laughs> unique. Uh, no one is going to buy that. You're never afraid of anything. Oh, look at the time. The anniversary celebration's opening ceremony should be starting soon. Let's go see the Dean. Look, Dean is going on stage. What? No way. The Dean is... Uh... <laughs> Hello, students. Or should I say, Ben and Jour? <laughs> what is going on? Is this a gag? Uh, that's just a mascot head, right? I'm Professor Preman. You may also call me by my more fashionable moniker, Prof Nana. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Don't worry, students. I have not gone mad. The reason I'm appearing before you like this is to show our new students the ethos of Paperfold University. Color your dreams. Free your ideals. Ah, lovely aspiration. But I hear that the words ring hollow nowadays. The pressure of schoolwork has kept all of you from looking up at the beautiful starry sky of the dreamscape. My schedule for the semester is packed. All I do is eat, study, and sleep. It's so hard to prepare for my thesis defense. I'm stuck on my thesis. Ah. My dearest students, this is not the way. This is not how youngsters in the land of the dreams should behave. So today, I bring you good news. After some discussion, the teaching research team has come to a unanimous decision to cancel all courses and exams for this semester. 
Everyone who attends the school anniversary will earn their credits. Yes, do not doubt your ears, young ones. Freedom. This is what Paperfold University yearns to teach you. Leave your worries over school and life behind and express yourself. Spread the love of your favorite things, such as Slumber Nana Monkey, to every corner of the campus. Welcome to the Dreamlight Anniversary. Color your dreams, free your ideas. <laughs> Looks like Paperfold University is more open-minded than the rumors say. It uh, really suits Pentacone. The tuning test is up next. Let's go. The waiting area is in the open classroom. Uh, here we are. Oh, there's so many people. Is everyone here for the exam? So embarrassing. Uh? Actors, settle down, settle down. <sighs> Please, quiet down. Sorry, sorry, please. Get back to your seat. Turn off all recording devices. Get ready. The film is about to begin. Hello, cast members. I am your director for this exam. You may call me Mr. Wrecker. It's the name I commonly use in the end credits. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rekka, please mind your verbiage. You're not on set. This is a classroom. No good! Cast members of the family, do remember that everywhere I stand is a set. Oh my gosh, it's him! It's Mr. Rekka in the flesh! Cast members, please remember your lines. I'm currently playing the role of a guest lecturer, and you are my students. Please, stay in character. Ah, this guy looks familiar. Oh, I think I saw a picture of him in the Blue Hour. He's a really famous director, I think. Ah, Mr. Rekka. He's known for works such as Soul Shattered Dark Star, uh, Fading Nebula, and the famous Knights of Miniature. Huh? I thought you only watch documentaries. His works are based on real-life events. They are worth referencing. Uh, let me see what the script for this scene says. The examiner hmm, presides over the exam as the family tunes the students to discover their talents within their soul's melody. 
<sighs> Boring. I'm changing the directions of this scene. Cast members of the family? That's a wrap for you. W what? But tuning is the most important segment of the tuning test. Huh? Miss Sedina, in your 13 years and four months of teaching, you've committed seven counts of academic fraud. It seems your laziness has turned your artistic integrity into a pile of decaying film. What? But, uh, academic fraud? What are you talking about? This scene will determine the students' very futures. Yet your academy would have me produce such slop. It's no wonder the Iris family hasn't produced a good film in centuries. Uh, uh, enough! You're only here as an examiner because of the acting dean. You, you can't dictate what we do. A according to academy regulations... We according to academy regulations. Think carefully now. What do the Academy Regulations say exactly? The Academy Regulations very clearly state that the examiner's word is law in the examination room, so... Uh, wait! But you're the examiner! What's going on here? Good, you finally connected the dots! On my set? The director's word is law. What? Well, well, uh, huh? Members of the cast, I've reached a consensus with the producers. This exam shall now be an audition. Are you ready? I will surely find the perfect role for you. Uh, Mr. Rekka is so amazing. He convinced the family so easily. That family member's reaction was strange. It's as if she suddenly changed her mind. Uh, it looked similar. But it can't be, right? Hey, student with the gray hair! It's your turn! Go to the performing arts classroom. Oh, it's finally your turn! Hurry and go! If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went! Oh, it's finally your turn! Hurry and go! If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went! Welcome to the audition. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. <laughs> I will be watching your every move on camera. I know you're Penacone's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't look right. Cut! Assistant director! Change the scene, please. Okay, that'll do. <gasps> Let me see here. Perfect! You're born to be a performer! Knowing how to read people is a basic skill for a director. The way a performer speaks and behaves reflects their personality. For example, you expressed curiosity just now, which is a driving force for learning. Now, for the first question, please introduce yourself. Ha <laughs> ha! 
joking with the examiner during an exam. You have a desire to perform. Okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? I suppose you mean you're in good shape. Yes, the cast welcomes newcomers who are hardworking and persevering. Now, for the third question. I'll let her do the honors. This is my assistant director. A reliable partner who's skilled at cinematography, script supervising, editing, and more. Has a better eye than me when it comes to casting performers. Mmm, a very perceptive question. <laughs> How do you respond? Ah, you amused her. A humorous performer indeed. <laughs> now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board a station of erudition, where you then boarded a train of trailblaze. In your journey, you witnessed the will of preservation, the determination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony and order. You ran across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme or perhaps a dream that belongs solely to you? It's only natural for a director to familiarize himself with a performer's resume before an audition. Hmm, a very individualistic answer. You have a style that can hook an audience, just like how you've piqued more of my curiosity. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were humorous, like a celebrity in front of a camera. Combined with your experience in winning the festivity auditions, the best academy for you is Charmony Academy! What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? Of course. I respect my performer's wishes. Which academy would you like your role to be in? I see. Your choice may not be correct, but a wrong choice can often make a story more exciting. The audition is over. You are now a student of Fortune Academy. Here is your student card. Drama concealed within this campus is stirring. This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Leading character? Drama? This Mr. Rekka says some strange things. <laughs> my exam is over. I'll wait for March 7th and Don home. Drama concealed within this campus is stirring! This is where your story. Uh, that Mr. Rekka said I'm better suited for Dreamweaver Academy instead of Charmony Academy. Chops. Now we have to go pour concrete in Dream's Edge. It's not fair. Did you accept the assignment? 
Of course I... did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. It made me really curious. Uh, it's no skin off my back anyway. So, I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy did you get? Whoa, I heard lots of rich people come from Fortune Academy. Old classmate, don't forget me once you're rich. I'll be going to Charmony Academy. Oh my, I didn't know you had dreams of stardom, Don Hung. <clears throat> it's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He's also a guest lecturer at Charmony Academy. It didn't feel right to refuse. All right, all right, I get it. You won over the big bad director with your superstar aura. You don't have to show off. Anyway, we're finally done with the admission process. Let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creator's market that Montana mentioned? Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Rekka asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? He also asked about the Xianzhou Alliance. Hmm. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. But why did she have to mention that I broke the synthesizer? <laughs> Look, there are so many students here! And so many booths! Are they all set up by student clubs? Hmm, let's get something to eat while we walk. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the dessert club. Dessert club? Did you make all these yourself? That's awesome! Thank you. Uh, I'm the club president, Shalika. Oh, do they? She must be very troubled, too. So, how much for these desserts? No, uh, we're hosting a Dreamscape Patissier Challenge. Students can choose from the ingredients provided by the dessert club and design their own banana pie. Banana pie? Because of Slimmer Nana Monkey's popularity, all kinds of banana dishes have become popular. Please, give it a try. Well, in that case, you can do the design while Don Hung makes the dessert. What about you? I'll be the taste tester, of course. You got this. The first thing you must choose for your dessert is... The banana! There are three types. The sour jade green banana from the Von Wach rainforests. The intense bloodthorn banana, commonly used as seasoning. And the extinct golden slum banana that was once popular across the universe, but now only exists in sweet dreams. This banana looks familiar. Next, we'll add some emotions to give the dessert its unique texture. This is also a feature unique to Dreamscape cooking. Finally, for added flavor, we have Penacone Sweet Dream Icing as Donna's specialty cinnamon and the hotel's special chili sauce. Um, why is there chili sauce? Because Paperfold University students come from many different planets. One of the members said they dip everything in chili back at home. <clears throat> Are you sure? All right. The banana pie is complete. 
I'll start baking. Oh, it looks good! Time for the taste test! Oh, wow! This flavor! I've never tasted a banana this good! Oh, this dessert is so tasty! I feel so happy! And... Ugh! Uh, uh, and it's really spicy! Uh, what did you put in there? Here. <laughs> spicy! <laughs> so spicy! <coughs> uh, serves you right! <laughs> Looks like March 7th feels very strongly about your cooking. <laughs> it feels good when you create something that touches another person's heart. Whether it's desserts or weaving dreams. You're a senior in Dreamweaver Academy? I'll be going there too. I'll be sure to ask if I have questions. Qu questions uh, uh, I'm not that good. You should ask them in Dreamweaving class. Huh? No, nothing. Uh, feel free to visit the other booths. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. Oh, look! It's Slumber Nana Monkey! <laughs> oh, uh, welcome! Welcome! Uh, welcome to the Toys and Models Club! Oh, it's you guys! I, I'm Peelin' Richie from the group chat. You can call me Richie. You know us? Of course! You're the festive superstar! The Nameless and Panacone shareholders! Don't underestimate Fortune Academy's intelligence network. The paper fold forums were filled with the latest scoops before you even walked through the school gates. Someone with your eminent status must have a keen eye for consumer products. So, let me introduce you to the Toys and Models Club's bestseller, the Slumber Nana Monkey Figurine! Behold, the intelligence in its eyes, its soft, lustrous fur, and its lifelike appearance. It's just like having the real Slumber Nana Monkey. Banana Nana! Banana Nana! The toy... Talks? This is the dreamscape. A regular toy won't draw the eyes of the consumer. So, Fortune Banana Advisor allowed me to add a little memoria to it. Look, isn't it as realistic as a memory zone meme? Well, I should let you know, there's only one left in stock. So, act now and don't miss out. Only 8,800 alpha, alpha credits. It's duty free and has a six month warranty. We also support payment with credits. This is the lowest price, buddy. You can't even buy a meal in the golden hour with this amount of credits. Hey, wonderful, huh? Thank you for your purchase, son. Um, now I can afford living expenses this month. Well, hurry and give us the monkey already. <laughs> the demand is too high right now. Uh, the toys you see here are all pre-order samples. There's still some time before the products officially ship. Uh, uh, no, 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 I, I, I wouldn't dare cheat you, buddy. Uh, Pre-orders are essential to ensure demand is met. If I didn't do this, some buyers would be missing out. Uh, don't worry. Once the product leaves the warehouse, I'll contact you. Uh, no, I'll personally deliver it to you. Uh, forget it. Let's visit the other booths. Huh? Oh, why is there a crowd blocking the way?
Uh, hi. Excuse me. Can you move out of the way? Wait. Don't go there. The disciplinary committee is searching for a student who broke school rules. Huh? Where's your school uniform? You're getting a demerit. School uniforms aren't free. Go buy one from the faculty office. Wait, President. I've read about them on the paperfold forums. They're the Penacone shareholders who have come to visit. What? Penacone's shareholders? My friends, I was just kidding earlier. Please, you three can go wherever you like. If the booths up ahead aren't enough, why don't you come visit my dorm? Or my home? Uh, this one's attitude changed faster than the people you use clockwork on. Uh, what's going on with the student who broke school rules? <sighs> There's someone acting suspiciously and leaving graffiti on campus. They're dressed oddly, wearing a glowing scarf and speaking nonsense. Um, is that the person up ahead? Oh, darn, it's her! Ha! Found you! You're not getting away this time! Ninja and Nishikagaku, it seems our time of rest is coming to an end! You're right, Dazzling Ninja! They are the warriors of this land! No! They're the evil spirits drawn to our sins! Lamentable. My ninja speed isn't fast enough to outrun cause and effect! The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect! Your determination is admirable. Ninja Nishigagaku, you have already stepped into the ninja hero domain. <gasps> Do you hear that? Evil spirit be reduced to ashes before our ninjutsu! Huh? Are we going to fight? What are you waiting for, warriors? Fight us! Unbelievable! You, from the Performing Arts Club! That woman next to you is in big trouble! Don't become an accomplice! Oh, come on! Just play along! The camera was rolling! So, is she a member of your club? No, I think she came from outside the campus. But look how in character she is! She's perfect! Shouldn't that arouse your suspicion? My meeting with Ninja Initiate Gagaku was purely happenstance, but I did not come here alone. These nameless ninjas are also my companions. Uh, do you know her? So she's a friend of the shareholders. That explains her behavior. Hey, what do you mean by that? Since you're a visitor, I'll let you off this once. Don't break school rules again. Ha! The tyrannical official retreated in the face of such extraordinary fighters! Victory for the ninjas! You! Put on your school uniform or it's a demerit! Baseball Bat Ninja, it is good to see you again. This must be a fated reunion. It is a pleasure to meet both of you as well, Nameless Ninjas. I am Rappa, aka the Dazzling Ninja. Nameless Ninjas? Are you talking about the Nameless? Oh, we have names, you know. I'm March 7th, and he's Don Hung. What strong names! Greetings, Ninja Ruri and Ninja Hiryu! Uh... Um, my name is Don Hung. Understood, Ninja Hiryu Aoi Don Hung. <laughs> um, 
She's taking this really seriously. Is this what people call Chunibyo? Strange things happen across the cosmos. Maybe a ninjutsu planet does exist. Is she the ninja you saw in your dream? Indeed. Baseball Bat Ninja and I are comrades who will risk life and limb for one another. We were besieged in the Fiendling Fantasia and survived together! Uh, it's not nice to eavesdrop on conversations. A ninja super hearing can capture even the death of a proton. You spoke loudly before me. I wasn't eavesdropping. You claim to be our companion? So, it's only reasonable to ask that you state your identity and purpose. Of course! That is exactly why I'm here. But before that... There is still justice to be upheld. I must prioritize assisting that cause! Oh, stupid student council! This is discrimination! Get a free concert ticket! <gasps> You're still here! Thank goodness! Ninja Initiate Gagaku, what ails you? Stop calling me by the name of my character! Use my stage name! Nana Bloom Chan! A classmate from Tokiwa calls me that. Isn't it cute? You know, I just realized how high caliber our new students are this year! Please, you absolutely must take part in the Performing Arts Club's Paperfold University Superstar Project Photography Challenge! Uh, that's... a really long name. This challenge requires you to take on the role of celebrity models. You'll choose a photographer who will take a photo that meets our requirements. We'll then print it into a photo book and send it to you. That sounds great! Let's take some photos together! If it is a trial prepared by Ninja Nishigagaku, I see no reason to refuse. Great! Now choose a photographer among yourselves. This challenge will put the photographer's skills to the test, more than the models. Good luck! As for our prop... <gasps> Let's use the Slumber Nana Monkey Toy! Alright, make sure you get all the models and the Slumber Nana Monkey in the shot. Bat Ninja, your photo ninjutsu is exquisite! <sighs> I envy how photogenic you all are. I want to be one of the stars featured in the Scorch Sand Audition, too. Forget it. Let's not talk about such depressing topics in the middle of festivities. Here's your photo book. Have fun! <sighs> no one will bother us anymore. Tell me. Why have you been following us all this time? Very astute. It appears you have ninja super hearing too. However, following you was a mere coincidence. My purpose for coming here is to set up dazzling ninja seals across the campus in order to dispel the evil ninja's matrix. Uh, seals? Oh, the graffiti the student from the disciplinary committee was talking about. Cause and effect is a wondrous thing. It allowed me to reunite with you, the nameless ninjas. Ninja Hiryu may not recognize me, but he must remember my colleague. A ninja hero clad in silver armor. He has a bold, 
easy confidence, is proficient in the use of bullet ninjutsu, and frequently spouts sweet and melodious words. Silver Gun Shura! Is it... Boot Hill? Precisely. Does that mean you're also a Galaxy Ranger? Of course. I didn't want to cause a misunderstanding, so I emphasize the title Ninja Hero. Uh, they both mean the same thing? Well, so we now know who checked into the hotel. Uh, but why are the Galaxy Rangers revisiting the dreamscape? Ninja Hiryu, you and your companions are all elite ninjas who follow the true teachings of Trailblaze. You should know in the Cosmic Ninja Realm, there are many extraordinary individuals like me, but also evil ninjas. So long as the evil ninja still lives, danger that requires the presence of us ninja heroes will never cease. The reason I visit Penakani is to hunt down one such scoundrel. He wreaks havoc across the universe with his fiendlings in tow. He is the enemy of the ninja capital and my arch enemy, evil ninja Osaru. Uh-huh. Do you know what she's talking about? Forget I asked. <sighs> This is troubling. If she really is a ranger, we have to take her story seriously. Perhaps something has happened in Penacone. The situation isn't clear. We shouldn't act rashly. After all, we're currently here as guest students. Hmm. <sighs> Would help if we could get in touch with Boot Hill. I wonder where he is. And sure enough, when I came to, my mind was whispering. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. And that's when it hit me. I've got a mind that's still alive. But you ask me, my muddle fudging brain ain't the boss of me. <laughs> How'd I end up here? for asking, but this is your seventh drink, and you've only had a sip from each. Is there something the matter with them? No, it, it ain't like that. These uh, little sweet drinks taste pretty good. Ordering a bunch is just a habit of mine. No need to worry, lady. You'll know soon enough. I'm heading out to take care of some business. Uh, uh, keep these safe for me. I get I'm supposed to be helping Rapper, but I don't see anything strange going on here. I'll ask you one last time. Do you have any taste at all? This place is useless sitting here empty, but if we put a slumber nana statue here and build a plaza, it'll instantly become a landmark of Dreamflux Reef. We'll be able to get ahead of the family again. Uh, it doesn't matter what you say. You can't just stake your claim on this place. No one's going to accept that. Then who should we listen to? Micah hasn't said anything. There's no reason to delay. 
I'm going to put this here today, or... Huh? Who are you? Now come off it, partner. I ain't even said anything yet. I, I don't care what beef y'all got. Just uh, make way, will you? So what? You hired this guy to be your thug? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know this man either. But thug or no, our position isn't going to change. Then I'm done playing nice. <sighs> Forking hell. You hard of hearing or something? Do I have to let my gun do the talking? All right then. Hope you're ready to get shot. There's no need for that, sir. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. Please, put your gun away. I'm afraid that's too much excitement for those of us who've already died once. Who are you now? What kind of show are they running here? <sighs> Forget it. The world's complicated enough as it is, but my bullets will make things real simple. Act first. Think later. You bet your fork and bananas I'm teaching all of you a lesson today. Huh? Wait a sec. The fudge was that? Bet your bananas. When the bananas did I start saying fudge and bananas? Bananas. Son of a banana! Oh, what the banana fudging Sunday! <sighs> Micah, I thought you don't get involved in these matters. I'm just putting up a decoration everyone likes. I'm not hurting anybody! First, I find it hard to believe that everyone likes those monkeys. Second, I just happen to be passing by. I saw a friend and came to say hello. Friend? That's right. Though, truth be told, I don't remember your name anymore. I've met too many people over the last few years. But I still remember those eyes. This is great. Everyone can make their own dreams here. That's what you said when you first arrived. Your eyes gleamed with spirit. Don't forget the aspirations you once had. <sighs> Do you have to say these things out in the open? You need to fix your bad habit of lecturing people. There's a reason why things become popular. You'll understand someday. But fine. <laughs> I'll back off for today. I'll be back. Let's go. Hold on, you banana, my Sunday. Oh, forget it. Guess I could afford to say less. Uh, hey, um, where are you going? Let them be. At the very least, they harbor no ill will towards you. And they certainly don't have the courage to do anything anyway. Right, Mr. Ranger? <laughs> Finally. Someone sensible. <laughs> I know what you want to ask. A Galaxy Ranger's gunshot rings loud and clear. And Dreamflux Reef isn't so isolated that we don't hear what's going on outside our walls. Well, it's good to know I didn't waste my shot. But, uh, gotta say, <laughs> I've seen it all now. The atmosphere here is real strange. I mean, statues, monkeys. Oh, it's just a fad among youngsters. 
If you ask me, it's even stranger that a Galaxy Ranger is in Dreamflux Reef. Are you here chasing evil or settling a grudge? You don't gotta beat around the bush. Can't you just tell by looking at me? Banana Sunday. Yeah, everything's bananas. I came here to help someone, and now I'm the biggest ruckus around here. Son of a banana, just tell me what's going on with that monkey. <sighs> it wasn't that long ago, but they arrived just as suddenly as you did. Huh? Did I miss something? Who's they? They call themselves Assistant Annas. They look like the Sweet Dreams troop, except much stranger. They came here to advertise something called the Slumber Nana Monkey. Hmm. Maybe it's the appearance or the cultural significance, just like every other thing that was once trendy. I don't have an opinion on Slumber Nana Monkey. The young people love it. Well, the real problem is the level of fanaticism it creates. You saw the group from before. They grew obsessed with the monkey and formed their own society. I think it's called the Slumberdana Association. They run publicity campaigns all across Dreamflux Reef under its banner. And they're not very friendly. Oh, you those self-proclaimed banana maniacs just now? No one's tried to stop them? Uh, fads come and go. It's not all that unusual, even in Dreamflux Reef, so I didn't see a reason to intervene. Uh, besides, for a very long time, this was the only place in Benaconi that had some freedom. Some things just shouldn't be changed. <laughs> Fine by me. If you won't deal with it, somebody else will. The Slumber Nan Association, huh? <laughs> Appreciate the tip, partner. One moment, Mr. Ranger. You haven't answered my question from earlier. Are you here chasing evil or settling a grudge? <laughs> Do I look like some kind of madman to you? The answer is both. Any more than that is none of your business. <sighs> You still worried about something? I tell you what, buddy. Go to Jesse's shop next door. There's a tab for seven drinks. Settle that, and consider my behavior here bought and paid for. Seven drinks? It may not be much, but it's still malt juice. I never break a promise to those who treat me. You can bet on that. The first time I met someone like that, I let myself get shot rather than betray him. A fad is just a fad. It always comes to an end. But if you're here for something else, then I won't pry further. You're not making things easy here. You say you're a slumber a monkey fan, but you can't even answer any of my questions. Wait, wait, uh, it just slipped my mind for a moment. I think I got it. Number 20 is, is, may all see the world for what it is, an arc waxing into perfection. What nonsense are you spouting? You'd best go home for now. The events we're holding over the next few days aren't like any other. Jumping on the bandwagon isn't going to nab you an entrance ticket. I'm very sorry, we're temporarily closed. Uh, a member knocked something big over and we're still cleaning it up. Uh, it won't take long. You should get your membership card first. It doesn't look like there's a queue right now. Hold it right there. Here for the Slumber Nana Association event, sir? Got your membership card with you? I'll need your member ID. What the banana Sunday are you talking about? Ugh, another bandwagoner? Exit's over there, sir. We don't welcome anyone but true fans of Slumber Nana Monkey here. Oh, listen, buddy. Don't make me repeat myself. I 
Love me some bananas. You don't want to make things more complicated than they need to be. P put the gun down, sir. We can talk this out without going bananas. I gather you're keen on checking out the event? Well, that's fine and all. But I can't just let you in. If you're really interested, why not start off by learning more about Slumber Nana Monkey? Like that gal from just now. Gotta give a passphrase just to get through this door. No, it, it wasn't a passphrase, but an entrance test to become a member of the society. We're hosting an incredibly important event inside, after all. Everybody wants to be a part of it. <laughs> Sounds impressive. Sign me up, partner. Uh, it's a lot harder than it sounds. You won't be able to pass the test unless you're an expert on Slumber Nana Monkey. I might as well give it a shot. Gotta be easier than breaking my way in. Fine. The Slumber Nana Association is always happy to make more friends. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, which of these questions would you like to start with? Banana, my Sunday. What kind of questions are these? Uh, looks like you're completely clueless about Slumber Nana. These are pretty much no-brainers, you know. Sorry, I, but I can't let you in for now. Partner, you're in luck. If this were my own business, I'd be making my way through by other means, but... Since I'm just lending a hand, I can't go raising too much ruckus. Okay, we'll do things your way. How hard can a few questions be anyway? We run, we stride, ooh. Miss Robin, am I singing it right? Mm-hmm. You're doing wonderfully. That reminds me, shall I give you a checkup? You learn fast, but this is an advanced singing technique after all. It won't do if you don't take good care of your throat. Uh, is something the matter, Miss Robin? Nothing's wrong. I was just worrying too much. Everything is looking good. I can't believe I just ran into a superstar. And in a place like this, too. <laughs> it's okay. This big brother here is a good man. Why don't you go and have fun somewhere else for now? Big bother. Um, maybe I should have just kept it at Mr. Would that have been better? In any case, Mr. Boothill, it seems you put your travels on hold after that incident, too. Are you enjoying your time in Penacony? Enjoying? <laughs> More like going bananas. <laughs> bananas? Oh, God! I just can't catch a break. Mr. Boothill, you... Uh -huh. Hang on. Sorry. Please keep still for a moment. What in the fork in hell are you doing? Uh. Oh. Fork! Fudge! Fudge! Holy shirt balls, I'm back to normal! I knew it. There's a noise around Mr. Boothill, too. Two? Sounds like you've encountered this before. So, what in tarnation's going on with all this bananas business? I wish I could tell you, but I still haven't figured out what it is. I've been visiting this place a lot lately, to teach the children how to sing. Giving up one's sweet dreams takes resolve, so it's my wish that music can bring them some solace. But as time passed, 
I started to notice something increasingly off about the Dreamflex Reef. <laughs> Slumber Nana Monkey. As I expected, it's come to your attention too. The Memoria nearby has been mutating ever since Slumber Nana Monkey gained popularity. Even though the noise doesn't cause any tangible impact, it leaves me feeling awfully drained every time I use the power of harmony for tuning. I can't explain it. Other than that, I also paid a visit to the Slumber Nana Association. <sighs> I swung by that place too. They let you join up. They didn't, unfortunately. Anyone who wishes to become part of the Summer Nana Association must undergo onerous entrance procedures before they can become one of them. Besides, even if I did succeed in infiltrating them, I would stand out too much. It makes more sense for me to focus on studying the noise instead. So you didn't pass the test either, huh? Well... Don't change the fact that I still gotta get in one way or another. Got any bright ideas? I can offer a few ideas on places you can make inquiries at. But why the sudden... Is something going on in Penacony? <sighs> Long story. I'll fill you in once I have more concrete details. But first... I have to pass that entrance test by hook or by crook. <sighs> Making inquiries, you say? Not a bad idea. <laughs> Heck, I, uh, why couldn't I be a fan of Slumber Nana Monkey? <laughs> and tough guys exploring their soft side are a thing these days. <sighs> if all else fails, I got an easier solution to fall back on. I can just borrow a membership card from those little fudgeheads scrapping over turf earlier. <laughs> Easy peasy. Huh? Do you need something else? Oh, I remember you. Last minute cramming isn't going to help, you know. Don't worry. I'm a monkey expert now. About as much as I'm a master marksman. Ask away. If you say so. You're taking the Slumber Nana Association way too lightly if you ask me. But here it goes. What tiers make up the Slumber Nana Association's membership hierarchy? <sighs> Forget it. You clearly know nothing about the topic. Come back again later. Huh? Not everyone deserves a bullet in them. They haven't gone that far... yet. Soon, soon. Everything will be set up real soon. We welcome you to visit Slumber Nana Avenue again for more fun after tomorrow. No! Are you mistaken or something? Coming to my place and then telling me to make myself at home. Who made you owner of this place? Is this... Well, well. You finally found these little fudge heads. Would you look at that? They just don't know when to quit. Ah, are they the association members going around promoting Slumber Nana Monkey? And that means... Yep. <laughs> hey, we make pretty good partners, huh? Indeed. We need only sound them out and... Hey! Look over here, model fudgers! <laughs> little slow on the uptake, ain't you? I'm picking a fight here, partner. <laughs> a 
Loud, huh? How's that for sounding them out? Uh -huh. My apologies. I'll cut back on figures of speech in the future, Mr. Boothill. No, oh, wait! No! Who the heck are you? You need to respect other folks' turf. You hear? Now listen up. I'm gonna take off my belt and hang it up here. After that, I'll ask a few questions, and you're gonna answer every one of them. Your belt? Well, don't mistake me for a fudging saint now, you son of a nice lady. I ain't no greenhorn interrogator partner. This belt is put here so that ash bowls like you can crawl over and hang yourselves when you can't take no more. <gasps> what can I do for you? <laughs> I see you finally learned some manners. Now, show me your Slumber Nana Association ID. Here, take it. Don't tell me. Was it the Assistanata that sent you after me? Rack your brain all you want, but you ain't getting a word out of me. Now scram. Life grows beautiful for those who will forfeit it all. Huh? Do you need something else? Hmm. Oh, and a genuine article, no less. Let's see. Denise of 124. Mr. Uh, Catherine Marta? That's me, partner. Got a problem? No, no, not at all. <laughs> I've heard that your name and assertive demeanor are quite the juxtaposition, and it looks like there's truth to these stories indeed. Now, if you'll follow me. Let's go, partner. Time to see what those troublemakers are capable of. I'm afraid it won't be wise for us to continue our investigations together, Mr. Boothill. What do you mean? If you're hoping to keep a low profile, my presence will only be a burden, Mr. Boothill. Moreover, if you intend to employ... certain means of doing things, it'll be for the better if I'm not around. Hmm. <laughs> As expected of one in a seat of power in the family. You're a lot sharper than you let on. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. It'll be prudent for one of us to stay on the outside. Huh. Strange. They're linked, but this place... I don't detect any noise here. The answer's simple. The gun may fire, but it's the bullet that does the killing. So, Mr. Boothill, I'm familiar with the Galaxy Rangers and their exploits, as well as with the entities they pursue. For you to stop here, something must be happening in Dreamflux Reef. Hey, don't be a stranger. You can just call me partner. Yeah. <sighs> monkeys. Monkeys. More monkeys. They're all muddled fudging monkeys. Evil Ninja Osaru, that doggone muddled fudger. This is way too familiar sight for comfort. Things better not turn out the way Rappa feared they would. Gotcha. Oh. 
I'll leave things out here to you then. Oh. Thanks for all the help so far. You're too kind. I should be thanking you instead. You have my gratitude for offering your assistance, Mr. Boothill. You live up to the name of a Galaxy Ranger, indeed. <laughs> this ain't my turf. So let me just make some things clear. I don't give a rat's behind about people doing good or evil. Whatever's about to unfold in that little club full of Sherpa brains is no different from the usual stuff I do elsewhere. Things ain't gonna be pretty, but justice will be served. And that's all I care about. I see. Then, I wish you all the best. As for me, I will try to trace the noise to its source. We'll see each other again later, Mr. Boothill. Fudge me. There ain't nothing strange about this place at all. These ash foals are good. Hmm. That was quick. <laughs> well, butter my banana and call me a biscuit. We kicking off the member initiation right so soon. Ah. Huh. Bring it on, baby. One ninja's more than enough for this game of infiltration. Wait a banana. Is that me? Ninju Osaru, this girl has become the successor to the dazzling ninjutsu. Adopting the code name of Rafa, she began training under Master Kucha. To help Rafa master the secrets of the ninja arts, Master Kucha subjected her to harsh trials. And Rafa, in her quest to liberate the ninja capital from darkness, determinedly endured every test. Master Kucha is aware that Rappa is maturing into a true ninja, and her destined mission will soon unfold. Ninja Initiate Rappa. Yes, Master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon, to defeat the evil ninja, and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of dazzling ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital. Banish the shadows with ink, and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So, the decision is yours to make. Stay awake! Don't fall asleep! Hmm. You 
still can't reach Boot Hill. Do you think we can trust Rappa? This might sound rude, but the only proof of her being a ranger is her peculiar behavior. But her concerns are valid. I also find the sudden obsession with monkeys to be rather uh, unusual. Come to think of it, ever since we arrived here, the presence of that little monkey has been making me feel a little unsettled. Let's go and take a look at the classes, shall we? Uh huh? I thought all classes were cancelled! A Dreamweaving class will start soon at Dreamweaver Academy. It's more part of the anniversary celebrations than it is a regular class. Slumber Nana Monkey's rise in popularity seems quite unnatural. If someone is stirring things up behind the scenes, we need to pay close attention to the actions of the teaching staff. Uh, sure. We have to attend classes sooner or later anyway. Dreamweaving classes at the Stage Plaza. Let's go take a look! Uh, look! Rap is here too! Looks like she's thinking along the same lines as us! You're mistaken! Utterly mistaken! Slumber Nana Monkey is by no means an ordinary cartoon character! Dreams are the canvas of one's subconscious. Within it, even a banana can carry intricate emotions. Not to mention the Slumber Nana Monkey, adored by countless ripe bananas! Yo! Baseball Bat Ninja! Ninja Ruri! Ninja Hiryu! Uh, you don't need to individually greet everyone. So, are you also here for the class, Miss Rappa? Certainly. Great ninjas think alike. This class dojo seems shady. It harbors feelings. Exercise caution, fellow ninja warriors. Seems like we've got everyone. All right, let's dive right into our academics. Today's session is about decorating the campus to your liking. Here, grab one of these. The materials that form the dreamscape are completely different from those in reality, and the same theories apply to dream weaving. What you're holding is memetic dye, which is made from memoria. Let's use it to decorate this wall! The theme will be everyone's favorite monkey, Slumber Nana Monkey! So, this class is about painting? No, no. Dreamweaving is completely different from painting. Let me show you, Bana. Oh, how did you paint that so quickly? It's like magic! Calm your mind. Visualize what you want to create, channel your emotions to resonate with the materials, and there you have it! Your imagination will come to life in the dream! That's dream-weaving, Banana! I see... <laughs> Banana... Hmm? Bana, bana, don't worry! Mimetic dye can affect the viewer's emotions. It seems this painting has helped you understand Bana gibberish better! <laughs> Great! Ah, 
That's it for my demonstration. Who would like to give it a try? What is happening? My mouth was running on autopilot. This class definitely seems fishy. I'll go and investigate. Uh, but you'd draw too much attention if you started speaking bananas too, Don Hung. Uh, how about she and I go instead? <laughs> We're not usually that serious, so even if we mess up, it won't stand out too much. <laughs> Quit the act already! Hurry up! Uh, banana advisor? Uh, we would love to try. <laughs> me, uh, me too! Excellent! You can all come up here! Those who excel might even earn some course credits, banana! Banana! Go create your own work of art! Don't forget to go bananas with the technique I taught you! Then, visualize what you want to create. Ah! Ah! What? Long time no see, Outlander. You are our clan's savior, and the King Hunter who took away the trash. How could you give in now? Ah! Ah! Shut it, monkey from another land. You can't just break our destined chain so easily. Lastly, channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. Calm your mind, visualize what you want to create, and channel your emotions to... What, again? Can she really pull this off? Slumber Nano Monkey, Slumber Nano Monkey. <laughs> Completed already? Well, it's just in time. Let's assess your work. Ah, what's going on here? Only trash cans? Where's the monkey? Zero points from me!
Outlander, I'm grateful for the artwork. True dignity lies in staying faithful to what you believe is right. Let's move on to the next student. What in bananas is this? Ninja! Six-faced ice! Such formidable ice mastery! Ninja Ruri truly proves her might! Well, this dream-weaving method feels just like condensing six-faced ice! I can barely tell them apart! Th that's impressive, Banana! Weaving such a large object in such a short time is comparable to the work of a pro dream weaver. Wow, Mr. Rekka was telling the truth. I truly am a genius! But I'm giving it a big fat zero. Uh, why? I gave you a theme, and that slumber nana monkey, not this giant useless block of eyes. Even pro Dreamweaver monkeys are expected to follow what is requested of them. What even? The Prof Nana was just encouraging freedom in the classroom, and you're not even making the slightest effort in your class! You're allowed to disrupt my class, and I get to flunk you for that! That's freedom for you! You pay a price for trying to be creative! Now, get back to your seat, Banana! Mm. Uh, how unreasonable! Moving on to the last student. Uh, where's your design? Slumber Nana Monkey. Slumber Nana Monkey. All right, that's enough. Mumbling won't weave you any dreams. You're better off snacking on bananas with that useless trap of yours. Zero points for turning in nothing. Wait, I just need some more time. Even if I did give you all the time in the cosmos, you won't have anything! Not when you are not passionate about Slumber Nana Monkey! Oh, you're at the bottom of the class, aren't you? No, not exactly. I was also the second to last a couple of times. Ah, I'm really sick and tired of seeing students like you. A monkey with no talent for climbing will never reach the bananas! Why volunteer only to embarrass yourself? It's better to face reality and give up on this path sooner rather than later, banana. You can't possibly understand the affection in my words. Both you and the other girl have some talent. Unlike her, she has no talent whatsoever to speak of. Pursuing something she can never reach is straying farther from happiness. That's why it's only right to give up, Banana. <sighs> have you concluded your articulation, sir? If so, please cast your attention this way. But what? But who are you? And when did you get here? Wait, what in the banana is this? I present to you the Dazzling Seal. I am eagerly anticipating your appraisal of it, Big Head Feeling. Feel that thought out of your head! Is that permanent ink? This magnificence is conceived by none other than Patissier Ninja Initiate. At that precise instant you turned around, a look of dawning Eureka graced her visage. Inspiration surged through her, and this came to fruition in just point one microseconds. Imperceptible, even with a ninja's hypersight. What for the nonsense? 
sense is that? I know it was you! Cooked salmon cannot swim, just as ninjas never deceive. All ninja initiate Patissier needed was a little nudge. I willingly became her paintbrush to aid her in completing her training. Is that fair to say, ninja initiate Patissier? Huh? Um... As stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, pythons slither without feet, as manta rays glide without wings. If your decision is firm, don't hesitate to roar with conviction! <laughs> Whatever it takes! I really need to earn my credits! Cheating banana! Big head feeling. Educators impart knowledge, cultivate skills, and clarify doubts. But they must never deny any ninja initiate of their way of the ninja. Uh, yeah, you were being way too mean to her. And my six phase dice is pretty good too. You've really been annoyed me, unruly monkey! You barged in here disrupting my class, and now you're even corrupting my students with ruinous ideas! Get out! Or my iron fists will show you some banana enlightenment! The same goes for you, no good monkey inciters! What's it got to do with us? Alas, <laughs> the pretense of your tyranny has shattered. With that, a magnificent hunt shall be set in motion! Give it to them, Assistant Annas! Show those unruly students what it means to be disciplined! Banana! Let's improvise. Never hesitate! Too low. Forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! All in. Attack! I will claim victory for myself. Now that you are vanquished at our feet, allow me to recite to you the ninja mantra. Doesn't matter what the rules say. If you bring the violence, then the violence is coming back your way. All right, girl. You've already crushed him. The university failed to take these banana advisors in hand. Please accept my apology for the distress they brought upon you. Are you perhaps the governor of Paperfold Town? Governor? <laughs> you humor me. I'm merely an educator. Here on our campus, our students are the true masters. I came over after hearing of a ruckus in the Dreamweaving class, but it seems like it was the Sweet Dreams troupe who went out of control. My apologies once again. Mm, pardon me, but I don't think I have seen you around here before. You're not a student of Paperfold University, are you? I'm only asking because we know a stowaway has recently snuck into Panacone. Eyewitness accounts from the Bloodhounds describe someone with pink hair, red attire, and a blazing scarf. And you seem to match that description. No need to beat around the bush, sir. Of course. 
What I'm trying to say is, if the stowaway is indeed plotting something nefarious, it wouldn't make sense for them to attend classes at Paperfold University. So, I'm certain you're just an inquisitive student. Wait, what? Every banana seedling has the potential to bear fruit. That's why everyone deserves banana enlightenment. Paperfold University advocates freedom in education. So feel free to sit in our classes and be sure to apply yourself. Join me in a round of applause for our new student. <gasps> Why do you call yourself a ninja? Are there really ninjas on your planet? Hmm. Uh, Rappa? Thank you for standing up for me earlier. Um, could you show me how you did that graffiti? I mean, your ninja move? That's ninjutsu I learned by myself. It's hard to teach it to others. But I say with certainty that you will discover your own way of the ninja someday. Yes, destiny is no different than a banana peel. Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free of its encapsulation. Looks like things blew up real quick. Everyone's flocked here to see what's going on. My own way of the ninja? Uh, I don't even know what that is. Maybe I should just practice monkey weaving. Bana... Bana? Jeez, please tell me they're still duking it out with the teacher. Hey, isn't that Montana? Oh, say cheese! And Don Hung and Superstar 2, we meet again. <laughs> um, I came up with that name on the fly, so let's forget about it. Uh, just call me March. Gotcha! You can drop Montana too! I'm now known as Denisovan 426! Denisovan 426? That's right! I finally got into the Slumber Nana Association, the GOAT Club at Paperfold University, and that's my name in the club! Names are boring and not special at all! The Slumber Nana Association was founded by fans of Slumber Nana Monkey. Our fan base stretches far beyond the campus and includes ripe bananas from all over Penacony. We create fan art and merch based on Slumber Nana, host Slumber Nana cons, and hold a few other off campus events from time to time. Bitching to join us? I can refer you! Oh, wow, that sounds like a lot of fun! Can you get all of us in? Count on me! It's just that the club has a rigorous screening procedure and we only take in a few members each time. If I refer March in, then the two of you... Uh... I'll pass. We'll go to March 
then. Oh, there's an off-campus event happening later today at a supposedly mysterious location. I can't wait! Great. Uh, let me say goodbye to those two, and then you can show me where to sign up. Uh, good job playing along back there, guys. Uh, things are getting weirder, huh? This monkey even has a fan club now. But since we have a way to get into the club, I'll go see what they're up to. Will you be alright on your own? Yeah, it's less suspicious than all three of us joining the club together. Let's split up for now. This way you two can keep an eye on what's going on in the campus. Please, be careful. Aww, I will. Don't worry about me. You too! Catch you guys later! Hmm. I hope she'll be okay. <clears throat> um, Prof Nano was clearly steering the conversation his way earlier. Let's go find Rappa and hear what she thinks. Bana. What was that? Huh? Slumber Nana Monkey. I see a tag on it. Peelin Ritchie, Fortune Academy. This is the toy you ordered. It looks rather unique. ran off. What now? All right, let's go get the toy back then. Does this toy have a life of its own? <sighs> Isn't this the way to the Fortune Academy? Rappa. Give me a break, miss. I I'll repeat this for the millionth time. I'm not evil, nor do I sell any gorge robe. Nay, ninja initiate merchant. The other initiates have verified that these fiendly puppets are from your shop. Confess at once. Are you under the spell of evil ninja Osaru? Oh, hey, it's you. <laughs> Please, uh, help me talk some sense into her. I'm just a well-behaved student working to pay my tuition fees, not whatever initiate she thinks I am. Never mind that. The monkey you sold us keeps running off on its own. Are you sure it's just a toy? Fiendling puppets imbued with life. The epitome of ninja automation. You rich folks are just being unreasonable. If it were really some high-end stuff, would I be selling it at such a low price? Please, take pity on this poor student. Have a heart. You know, as if squeezing in sales between classes isn't enough, I haven't slept a wink in three days just so I can get this batch of toys ready. Richie! Hola! How could you speak so rudely to your customers? Fortune Banana Advisor. The customer is always right. Do not teach you that. Greetings, dear students. This fiendling assumes the form of an insect-like pest. Clearly a lowly fiendling. What did you just say? Repeat that if you dare. Uh... An ad advisor? The customer is always right. <laughs> Pardon me. My dear students, you may have some misunderstanding about Fortune Academy's new product. These monkey toys are made this lively so that they bring more emotional value to our young customers. Paperfold University might seem to be an enjoyable place, but beneath their peels, 
Many students are in fact bogged down by loneliness. You know, struggling to embrace the vibrant energy here in the moment of soul, but also realizing that they're unable to live as the Penaconians do. But the Slumber Nana Monkey is the perfect companion! It won't compete with grades, won't compare itself to you, won't use your things without asking. You can trust it completely without worrying about it sharing your secrets with others. Consider it your bestest pal, Nana! But my gosh, look at the time! I have to get ready for my dreamscape marketing class! Excuse me, students. I'll take all other questions after class. I, I should get to my class, too. But do me a favor, buddies. Just come look for me if you need anything. Let's not involve Banana Advisor again. Uh, I doubt he'll say anything more. Let's just follow him and see what we can learn. Banana! I mean, banana! This atmosphere. Is this really a marketing class? and tourists eventually grow weary from the endless festivities. Those famed tycoons and festive superstars that we pursue lead lives we can never hope to experience. So dramatic, eventful, and out of this world. But Slum Banana Monkey epitomizes a wholly different lifestyle. Sleeping and snacking on bananas without a care in the world. This is what pure happiness should be. Banana, 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 banana. I have just the thing to help all of you understand this better. Fortune Academy students get a bonus discount when purchasing this special model of the Slum Banana Monkey toy. Banana Advisor, I sold everything from the last batch. That's fantastic news! We underestimated Slum Banana Monkey's popularity! Come with me, Richie. I'll, I'll get you more stock. So the Fortune Academy is supposed to promote these toys. But why did they rope students into their plan? Banana. Banana. Hmm. It's a shame we don't understand it's banana gibberish. Oh, I have an idea. Can you use clockwork on it? I'm counting on you, banana. Huh? <clears throat> clockwork ninjutsu? Silvergun Shira once recounted its magnificence to me. Please, 
It will be my honor to witness it with my own eyes. I'll leave it to you. Banana. Banana. But uh, but nah. It's working. Huh. It seems to be leading us somewhere. Let's catch up. Oh, why does it feel like I've been on a wild monkey chase all day? It's Ninja Initiate Merchant and Fiendling Pest! Hold on. Let's listen in on their conversation first. Uh, Fortune Banana Advisor? Aren't we supposed to pick up more stock? I don't see anything here. Jeez! Dreamweaver Banana Advisor said he'd get a new batch ready. Looks like we can't rely on him, Banatis. By the way, Banana Advisor, did those people willingly become monkeys? Of course, Richie! Can't you see how happy it is being a monkey? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, I... I... guess not. <laughs> I take it you haven't been paying attention in class, huh? Or did those guest students plant unrealistic ideas in your head again? Do you have the slightest idea about the backgrounds of those nameless? You're just a poor student from a faraway fringe planet, one that relies on the IPC for aid. Do you really think you could compare yourself to them? I know I can't measure up to those bigwigs, but there are things I hope to achieve too. I get it. You're aiming to make a lot of money. After all, the sky-high tuition fees at Paperboard University can really take a toll on the average middle-class family. Oh, I heard your father came to Patagonia too. Oh, he's been working day and night ever since taking up a new job at Dawn Factory, hasn't he? Oh, but no, how touching. How, how did you know that? Banana, He swung by a few days ago to check on how you're doing. I took the time to chat with him. Looking at how old he is, my heart really went out to him. Throwing in most of his life's savings, only to slog his guts out in a foreign land. I could sense his exhaustion and distress. So, I instilled in him the tenets of our Banacademics, convincing him that becoming a slumber banana monkey is the right thing to do. Oh, that's right. He's in the batch of toys that you just delivered. Ooh, quite a turn of events, huh? What? How could you? Banana. Could it be? Father of Ninja Initiate Merchant. Merchant Chief? Why? Because your dad was simply too tired. I asked if he ever had regrets, and he said no. But when I stripped away that banana peel facade, what I found was the expulsion warning letter you had hidden. Of course, but no! Why didn't I realize this sooner? You're a hopeless student. <laughs> Rather than squandering our educational resources on you, why don't you become 
for the Fortune Academy's products. At least scrape some worth out of yourself, but <laughs> Assured your father that you'll get to be happy like him. <laughs> it's time for you to rest, Richie. Why did it come to this? What use is it for me keeping up the struggle if you've already given up, Dad? <sighs> Dad, there's nothing else keeping me going. But not. Something's happening to Richie! We have to stop him! Fiendling pest! What tricks did you pull on Ninja Initiate Merchant? Yeah! How did a ninja get in here? Please, see more value in your life. Students, uh, allow me to explain myself. I was only trying to help relieve those pitiful kids of their suffering, letting them enjoy the rest of their happy life from a different perspective, and maybe make some extra cash while I'm at it. But this isn't anything new in Panacone. You may have your esteemed background and a never ending supply of credits, but that's not the case for my students. All I did was offer a better alternative, one that both father and son willingly took up. Seems like a fair and banal worthy deal, wouldn't you say so? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, sizzling yakitori knows not refreshing ice, as chilled sashimi knows not blazing fire. If Ninja Initiate Merchant has indeed chosen the way of the Fiend, it is not my place to intervene. But not, jeez! I didn't count on you being this reasonable! Your words alone will not suffice. Ninja Initiate Merchant, is this truly your intention? Bana? He does not seem capable of a response. Merchant Chief, is this a willing decision of yours? Pana? Deceitful feeling! You spoke with a forked tongue! They can't prove a word of your claims! Bananas! Monkeys can't speak the human language! In that case, your calling is to render those in misery blind and deaf? Oh, utter absurdity! The path to hell is paved with heavenly treasure. Devil's trying to fool you better, get your head together. The hunter's hide greed with a welcoming smile. Don't be beguiled, it could be your last smile. Censure shall not fall upon the ensnared ninja initiate, but the trap's orchestrator ought to be punished. I beckon the ninja hunt upon you. Say your final words, feedling pest. A banana was that? Assistant others! Beat her to a pulp! No chance those banana advisors are actual faculty members. Just what is your goal? Watch your. Banana! 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 Let's improvise. Too slow. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Sam in position. Attack. Until everything burns to ashes. Firefly Type 4 in position. Fight to Oh, among us! Do you abort it? 
forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable! The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. All in. Dreams do come true. Resorting to sorcery to turn ninjas into feedlings? Ugh, dreadfully horrid. <sighs> Looks like he completely malfunctioned. Huh. Something's awry. I believe I should have held back in the ninja battle just now. Perhaps someone is controlling these feedlings behind the scenes. No matter. The feedling deserves its rightful punishment. Ninja initiate merchant, though. But, uh... Ninja initiate merchants succumb to their sorcery. He is expected to be out of action for a while. <sighs> Miss Rappa, can we talk about why the Rangers came to Penaconi now? Did you pick up on something, Ninja Hiryu? <sighs> Even though I had doubts before, it was only when I saw this that I felt sure of it. The sworn enemy of the Galaxy Rangers. The horrific scientist who transforms humans into monkeys. The evil ninja Osaru you spoke of. It's... Dr. Primitive, isn't it? Astute! Evil ninja Osaru! It's definitely evil ninja Osaru! Member number 64 of the Genius Society, Dr. Primitive. No one knows his real name, but his atrocities are infamous throughout the cosmos. The most horrifying one of all has to be his atavistic experiment. The dozens of worlds he caught up in this experiment were mostly home to prosperous interstellar civilizations. But... Every single one of these planets was reduced to a regressed form of intelligence by the time he was done with them. Intellitrons deteriorated into mere machines. Zatskas regressed into birds. And even the most ubiquitous human civilizations were subjected to the same fate. Millions of apes and monkeys now wander amidst the ruins that they once called home. If Dr. Primitive is indeed behind this, we must alert the Astral Express and the family at once. We won't be able to avert this crisis on our own. Facing such an amoral emanator of erudition... <sighs> even the slightest of negligence could bring unimaginable consequences. Your analysis is accurate. However, in my humble opinion, now may not be the best time to call the Harmony Shogunate for aid. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when the net is cast for a catch, ready yourself to land a fish or forgo your net. With evil Ninja Osaru lurking in the shadows, and our locations not yet compromised, I suggest laying low to avoid alerting the monkeys. Rest assured, I've delegated Silvergun Shira to investigate the Forbidden Ground. Being the chivalrous and exceptional ninja hero he is, I have faith Silvergun Shira will accomplish the assigned mission. At this juncture, our priority is to rescue the ninja initiates of Paperfold Town. What ninja heroes would we be if we left those defenseless initiates to the monkeys? If we don't rescue those before us, how can we hope to save the world? Indeed. We must not leave the students to fend for themselves. There you are! 
I finally found you, my beloved talents. It's Ninja Gamma. Oh, <laughs> I see this actor is creative with her words. Mr. Rekka? Um, do you need our help with something? Ah, yes. Charmony Academy is filming a promotional video for their anniversary, but the Banana Advisor hasn't found anyone that makes the cut. That's why I'm here, to recruit students with greater acting potential. Like you, a big shot with a brilliant past. And you, a superstar that everyone will have their eyes on. And this actress with personality. Please join us in the performance. Considering how Charmony Banana Advisor's a creator of the Slum Banana Monkey, I believe only young and talented people such as yourselves <clears throat> will be the ones to catch her discerning eye. Uh huh. I see. Thank you for thinking so highly of us, Mr. Rekka. We'll make sure to drop by. That's the way! You will be at the photography studio. See you later. Charmony Banana Advisor must be in league with the mastermind behind this. And... Uh, I can't help but feel like there's more than meets the eye with Mr. Rekka. I concur with you. Ninja Hiryu is a punctilious ninja indeed. Bana! 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 Ah, Bana! Bana! How lamentable you are! Please bear with me for now. I vow to defeat evil Ninja Osaru and restore your ninja forms! Capture Slumber Nana Monkey's five parts laziness, three parts cuteness, and two parts playfulness at all! <sighs> but I'm already doing the best I can, Charmony Banana Visor! It's so hard to play a monkey. <sighs> An utter disappointment to the monkeys! <sighs> Maybe we should change the cast. Acting skills alone won't cut it. They need to adore Slumber Nana with every fiber of their being, Banana! Charmony Banana Advisor, I have a few candidates here. <laughs> Perhaps they will be to your liking? Oh? They seem to have potential. Banana, Banana? I hope you don't leave me disappointed. Hmm... Is this evil fiendling a dragon or a monkey? Monkey? No, I mean... Uh, I'm a Charmony Banana Advisor! <sighs> How wonderful it is to have been scouted by Mr. Rekka! Have faith in a professional director's judgment. Have your scripts ready, actors. Show the Banana Advisor what you're capable of. Assign the actors to their roles then. 
The leading role of brave monkey shall be... Mr. Eka, I, I, I want to try this role again. Vanilla! Ooh, your earlier performance was disappointing enough. It's fine. Let's give this proactive actress one more shot. Brave Monkey is known for its can-do attitude, too. Next up is Wise Monkey, who guides Brave Monkey. Your disposition makes you perfect for this role, Don Hung. As you wish. And finally, we have the villain, the Devil of Stress. I'm confident you'll nail it, superstar. <laughs> The role of a conflicted villain requires sublime acting. And improvised lines further demand a robust foundation in the art. You are the only one who can take on this most challenging role. Not so fast. What role do I play? Oh, it seems all the roles have been assigned. Uh, but yes, we'll need someone to... Narrate! Rappa the narrator! This is your role! A lofty ninja hero relegated to the likes of a narrator? Ugh, so be it. We'll begin once everyone's ready. The assistant director's camera is ready to roll. If things play out as I expect, Dragon Feenling will let slip her true nature in this class. Mr. Rekka took over the conversation from Charmony Banan Advisor on several occasions to steer the class in a certain way. Did he pick up on something too? All monkeys share the same line. There's no point in rehearsing. I ought to sit down and conceptualize how to incorporate and play up the way of the dazzling ninja in my narration. Banana, -na, banana, -na, banana, -na, banana, -na. banana. Oh, it's you, superstar! <sighs> I'm so envious of you guys. Being cast in Mr. Rekka's film is my ultimate dream. <laughs> Thank you for encouraging me! Uh, I will keep at it! I should watch the tutorial a few more times! Banana! -na, banana! -na. Banana, banana, banana. Oh, banana, banana, banana. Banana, 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 Incorporate and play up the way of the dazzling ninja in my narration. Charmony Banana Advisor is bound to slip up like the others. Exercise caution. Fledgling actors, are you banana ready? Then get on stage! Mr. Rekka, get the cameras rolling, banana. Actors! Take your positions. Three, two, one. Action! Dreamscape's glowing, gold hall's flowing, a legendary feast about to get going. Whoa, stop! What banana nonsense are you reciting? 
This is the ninja mantra. Embellishing words with ninja enchantments is bound to make the play a hundred times more vivid. <sighs> I knew this student wasn't reliable. Forget it! Focus on Slumber Nana Monkey only. Nothing else matters. Then I'll continue. From the hearts of men, monsters arise. The banquet turns to scorched earth laughter to cries. A passing hero lends a hand, <laughs> no surprise. I'm up next. I have to come up with something obnoxiously conceited. Name's Devil is Stress. Straight out of hell, students better quit playing, ring the alarm bell. One word from me, the whole zone's in despair, leaving scars so deep a lifetime to repair. Such a tyrannical rendition of the mantra of the ninja, baseball bat ninja. Oh, fail! This isn't a rap class. Bana, bana, bana! Fail! Brave Monkey is the savior of our university! It would never utter such dainty Bina gibberish! So sorry, Bina! Let me try that again! Bina! 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 Suffering and pain, the fruits of blind hate. A hero draws a sword ready for the fight to break. Bina! Bina! You're messing it up again! Brave Monkey hasn't gained the power to defeat the Devil of Stress at this point! How can it possibly have so much grit? S -s Sorry, Bina! I'll try again. Bina! Bina! <sighs> it's my turn now. I should say something demeaning to Brave Monkey. Baneb, 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 neb. Give up on that baneb, baneb act of yours already, or I'm gonna baneb, baneb you upside down! Almighty oh, Eon of the Hunt! Such vile tongue lashing! Surpassing that of even evil ninja's suspicious curse! Fail! If I hear one more swear word from you, you'll be penalized for breaking the school rules! <laughs> baneb! The heroes down and out, defeat hanging in the air, but in walks the master with wisdom to share. Bana! Bana Bana! Bana Bana! Bana! You! Your lines are fine. Go on. Next line. Thanks for quenching her wrath, Don Hung. The master's wisdom resonates to his core. The hero's blade sharper than ever before. Yesterday's loser is back in the fight. Fight or flight, evil doers think twice. It's my turn again. This time, I'll say something to taunt Brave Monkey. <laughs> Look who's back for another whooping! You really don't know when to stop, do you? Is that it, rinky dink 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 monkey? Oh, it's taunting, all right. But you're channeling the wrong archetype! Fail! <sighs> bana, bana. Oh, fail, fail, fail! <sighs> Stop filming! Miss Eureka! <sighs> None of them are cut out for portraying our beloved monkeys, but now... Wait! Please just give me one more! Second chances don't come around that often, girl! Please, I'm begging you! Being in one of Mr. Eureka's films is my dream! Um, don't say that. If you want my opinion, there's nothing amiss with Ninja Nishi Gaku's acting. In fact, you are being overly critical of her. <laughs> you think? 
Are you the banana advisor who grades her work, or the director who assigns her roles? It's up to me to assess my students' worth in this class! <sighs> Let's stop filming, Mr. Rekka! We need to swap out the actors! <laughs> stop! I, no! Not yet! The show still isn't over! I Banana! 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 Not this again. It feels like I'm in a dream. Are you alright? But. But. Banana! 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 Bina? 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 Looks like the Bina academics is taking effect! Bina, 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 Oh, congratulations, students! Thanks to Slumber Nana Monkey, you'll soon be qualified actors! Just as I thought, this is yet another snare laid down by the evil ninja. Are you still lucid? Oh, truly an incorrigible student! Nay, dinosaur fiendling! Your feeble sorcery stands no chance against my dazzling ninjutsu! Watch me snap everyone back to their senses! Hiya! Dazzling palm, righteous chop! Ow! What, what happened? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, the Stoneheart of a ninja is immune to pressure, immune to lies, come wind, rain, or shine. <sighs> Never forget who you truly are, Ninja Nishi Kagaku. Uh, are we on to another film now? <gasps> is this going to be about ninjas? No, but we've come to the climax of the film! Just a small swap among the roles. <laughs> Charmony Banana Advisor, you're up for the villain this time. What are you even? I said to stop filming! Stop filming! Cut! When you're on my set, I... And the director. Come on now, dear actors. Let's salvage this lousy film with an electrifying fight scene. Huh. Great ninja minds think alike. <laughs> I agree. insist on disrupting my class, you're in for some corrective bananishment! Teach them a lesson, Assistant Nanas! From this very moment, back down, retreat, the hero says never, the way of the ninja burning in their heart forever. With fiendling blood, the sword of justice will be stained as the school will cast off every shackle, every chain. Students like you are destined to be nothing. Just accept the one man and monkey's grace of a happy life. All oh, you must oh. never be swept away by the wind. Destined? Hmm. All nonsense. The, the ninja's way. Cannon must sever the chain of cause and effect. Right. In the mood for another Evil beating? Spirit, spirit. 
reduced to ashes before our vengeance now! My second friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Dreams do come true. Step up, let's see ya. Like I'm so everything burns to ashes! Set to the seas of flame! Some value, I suppose, eternal. Firefly Type 4 in position. Dreams like you are destined to be nothing. Just accept it from the man of my peace, grace Death of a happy life. Will be swept away by the wind. <sighs> destined? Hmm. All nonsense. The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect. Right. Any room for another beating? Evil spirit, we reduce to ashes before our vengeance. The mood is set for the show begin. Existence is unity. Detonate! Until everything burns to ashes! This is more than a battle. Let's see ya. <laughs> Firefly Type 4 in position. Calibrating. This is more than a battle. Hopeless students like you are destined to be nothing. Just accept it from the man of my peace, grace Death of a happy life. All swept away by the wind. Destined? <laughs> All nonsense. The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect. In the mood. All right. I'm so <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Set to the seas of flames! Step up, let's see ya! There's more to life. Existence is unity. Take your positions. <laughs> Firefly Type 4 in position. In the mood for another beating? <laughs> Stay in step. Stay away. Some value, I suppose. Away by the wind. <sighs> Destined. The mood is like <clears throat> all nonsense. The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect. Time to mix things up. Thank you. Nice. I will. My friend. <laughs> Indulge yourselves. Eternal. Take your positions. <laughs> this is 
more than a battle. In the mood for another beating? <laughs> Firefly Type 4 in position. Attack detected. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. Step up, let's see ya! Fight to live! Fail! Wicked tongues, wicked lies, all of them destroyed. Say goodbye to evil plot strategies and ploys. The life of the party, savior of the school. Let's hear it for the hero, here to keep it cool. Ninja Nishikagaku, deliver your final line. Up and that! Oh, scratch that. Evil thing! Your vile words cannot bring Ninja Initiate Gagaku down! It's victory for us ninjas! Hooray! Yeah! Huh. This one has ceased operating as well. It's as if some unseen puppeteer cut its strings. Ninja Gamma, can you kindly enlighten us on the proceedings thus far? <laughs> so you actors have caught on! <laughs> Let me reveal the next act in the plot then. We'll be exploring the misdeeds going down at Paperfold University. Alright now, dear actors, ever heard of a memetic virus? Is that what Slumber Nana Monkey is? You're right! Mimetic corruption comes about from the dissemination of data. It alters particles of information picked up by the cognitive module, skewing the sensory perception of certain objects in those that have been corrupted. Much like special effects in a film. Words, songs, videos, these are all mediums of transmission. Humans naturally have a curiosity for the unknown, and mimetic viruses take advantage of this. Mimetic corruption is known to influence one's thoughts even in the real world, and in the dreamscape. They catalyze nightmares that corrupt humans into monkeys. Hence, the evil ninja instructs the evil fiendlings to spread through media. Masking it as entertainment to implant the seeds of dark sorcery in the hearts of the ninja initiates. Misappropriating the role of actual educators gave them the perfect chance to mangle the minds of innocent ninja initiates, only to hasten the growth of those fiendish seeds they sowed. And so, all ninja initiates of Paperfull Town will succumb to fiendishness, becoming puppets of the evil ninja. What a despidious, degenerate, and dastardly ploy. Uh, what are you talking about? Are these lines in the script? This actor's lines may be somewhat cryptic, but yes, the general plot direction is on point. But Ninja Gamma, why are you bogged down by an action when you've long realized the truth behind their pretense? I'm just a director that stumbled upon a sinister plan. A reckless move on my part can bring dire consequences. It is up to very important stars like you to defeat that hell kite of a villain. These banana advisors were appointed by the acting dean, Prof Nana. I believe I don't have to make this any more explicit. Go to the Dean's office to find the answers you seek. Oh, and keep me updated on how the plot unfolds. Oh, what about my part? Do I still have any scenes coming up? 
You're keen about appearing in my films, aren't you? Come over here and choose a script. <laughs> Can I really? <gasps> Thank you so much! <laughs> a castle showdown looms ahead of us, fellow ninjas. We ought to make haste with ninja speed. Give it your best shot, fledgling actor. I see great potential in you. Uh, I, I will live up to your expectations! <laughs>